it's time to take out the Koreans, and because we're gonna probably fail, let's make sure we have a nice save of it first. S, S for stream. <laughs> strength 5. So the higher the territory strength, in addition to the overrun rule, it gives you certain things. So strength 5, you get two cities. You start with two cities instead of just one. And you got a bunch of buildings. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Trigenbark was useless because they have no territory anyway. I could add the Mongol power and just like raid them. That'd be okay. But it's strength 5 with an army. If it was strength 5 without an army, I'd probably play it. But with an army, I'm not so sure if it's going to do much. It's hard to raid against an army. I think I'll just go naked. No cards. <laughs> Surprisingly, the enemy is resisting our invasion. Just trying to wipe out an entire race, no big deal, don't worry about it. Uh, go explore. Show me the world. Okay. <sighs> I'm so not looking forward to this. Like... I'm still... hung up on the fact... that the AI is just playing differently. And it feels awful to play against. Uh, there's no trees, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that there's trees somewhere there. Even if there isn't, I can build more camps here. This is another 5, this is a 4. Wow, commerce is cheap. Is that because I have science too? Is that that much of a difference? That's really interesting. Please give me more food. Pretty please. Never mind. Pretty please. More food. Uh, with the Koreans attack, I mean, in theory, no, the Korean should not early attack me. In practice, the AI will probably early attack me, because it hates me, and it hates everything I stand for and believe in, as you do. And yes, I did end up getting a little bit lucky with the trees, they are right next to my city. Fortunately. Despite the fact we have all this additional resource income from like our random territories across the world, the start is still pretty slow. Hello. Uh, you can't survive, so just stall them out, and everyone else will head back home. So we need a tower and the senate. And do you need guts onto that camp? Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, you're gonna die, just slow them down. Do some damage. Say so these guys, I think they have extra range. This 
bad news for me if I'm trying to stall them out really slowly. Actually, you know what? Build the barracks and then build the farm, because the barracks will keep you all alive. Thank you, have a nice day. I'm quite worried about the fact they have not appeared right here yet. They might be attacking my capital. Jokes on them, I moved it. Let's build my market. Yeah, they're attacking my other city. God damn it. Oh, how do I do this? I need... I actually need... Cav, but I can't because I just took out all of my production. Um, this is quite bad. These guys are just gonna die for nothing if they stand there. Oh, they died for nothing. Oh well. Yeah, these guys have more range than me. Uh, this is quite bad. I think that's their whole army. I don't think they're cloaking anything. In which case, I should be okay with this fight. Especially if I bribe something, but all of these guys are low. Four military research. Okay, never mind. That's not gonna help. I don't want to use light cav either. Oh, <laughs> held that off without losing too much. Food, good for me. Uh, oh, spice, yes, that would be lovely. Relics, that would be okay. And obsidian would be okay as well. I need a second city. Second city, third city. I need a third city. And I need a temple here as well, actually. Did I never build that caravan or did it die? I guess it died. That's unfortunate. I also haven't built universities, holy shit. I am forgetting so much stuff. Hmm. I have two friends, but one of you is not gonna help. I don't need the wealth. I want the border push. Build this city here. In the meantime, let's go raid, I guess, with our whole army right before we get invaded again. They do have attrition, okay. Take out the supply wagon. There it is. Uh, I think we can afford to do that. Yep, perfect. Three and three, that's so few. Make that four and four. Oh, 
Oh boy, there is so much to do, and I'm not tracking it very well. We have the universities up, which is good. We need that research. Perfect. Two more caravans. Temple. I need to move my front line up. Uh, my production to the front line. What are these words coming out of my mouth? Need more people mining. We really need that cryptocurrency right up in here. You just go there. Oh shit. Well, okay. You get inside. Lumber mill. We already researched it. Well, shit. And that's too expensive. So... On the plus side, one thing I do have going for me is that my special unit counters their special unit. It's pretty convenient, not gonna lie. Is that missing a farm? It is missing a farm. Oh. I don't know if we can hold against that many. A lot to deal with. not to have it. Here we go. Can we hold the city? I'm thinking no. We can! That is extremely convenient for me. Okay. Well, that's good. Military 4, yes, okay. That is not good at all. One more set of archers. Actually, no builder scout. Well, couldn't hold it that time. Get inside and hope for the best. Cross your fingers. I am gonna need to get these guys out of here. Oh, I didn't rally point those. Okay, well, this is bad. Still can't hit the supply wagon. I'm gonna evac them before they all die. Alright, with the military four, it will be a bit easier. Plus, I can garrison some people inside of that, which will help. Uh, we're gonna need some heavy infantry as well. And now we have access to heavy cav too, which is important. Can't afford that. I kinda have to buy that one. How long do we have? One minute, we're not gonna get there in time. Oh, they killed my barracks. Well, shit. 
didn't notice. Actually, no, I should actually not build heavy cav. Heavy cav, heavy infantry, they're just gonna die. I need to just go light infantry with heavy cav. It's annoying, but it is what it is. At least I have production to probably infinite queue it. How healthy is the city? Not at all, but it's defended. Okay. I'm gonna need more dudes. Especially that upgrade. Um, this is quite bad. I'm thinking of building a fort, I just don't know if I can afford it. Because it's going to cut into my heavy cab production. I, th I think we'll do it. Just to get that um, armor upgrade. What are we on? Stand ground? We need defensive now. Actually no, stand ground would work. Yes, yeah, stand ground would work. What the fuck are you doing? You know what, let's get another barracks a little bit closer. And then you can go back to doing what you were doing before. And we'll pretend like nothing changed. I am not confident about this upcoming fight, but what can you do? That helps. Kicking things off before the real fight breaks out. Shit, they're hitting my port in progress. I need to start markering the citizens so they don't die. It's gonna hit too many times, they can't finish it. Holy fucking shit! Some of them are decoys, but most of them are not. How do I win this? If I was out of combat, I would entrench, and that would probably make me win the fight, but I'm not, so... Let's try this instead. Okay, that wasn't bad actually, but there's still a lot of knights on their side. So in reality we need... ...another stable. So we can't- our heavy infantry will not survive, so we need to use heavy cav as the front line instead. It's not optimal- oh, we shit, those things do a lot of damage. Um, <laughs> this is so bad. Okay, whatever. We don't care. We need the heavy infantry. Too many heavy cows slaughtering us. <laughs> that stable's not gonna survive very long. That's very sad, actually. I'm not going to finish this night, so I'm just going to cancel it. We need a sneaky stable barracks so that our units do not instantly die. And I am not sure if I can finish this campaign. If all the AI is just going to be ultra violently aggressive like this and just spam the fuck out of all of the units, it does cause a bit of a problem.
Drive. Okay. Never mind. Drive nothing. Because you are poor. You are the poor boy. Alright, more finances, more heavy cav. We're nearly out of cash though. And we're gonna need some siege. Take back our own city. Setting up a merchant. Asshole. That's my obsidian. We might need a third city. Not this one, like a, a different third city. Oh my god. Right, you are the infinite queue, you can stop. And you have already stopped. Okay, fair enough. Not many though. We need to pump that up slightly. If I can hit it from over this, that would actually be incredibly good. Awesome to come out and fight at a weird angle. I don't have the capital to set up another city is my biggest concern. They're not supplied right now, but that's fine. I'm mostly interested in the theory. Oh, okay, this doesn't work. That was a decent effort. Okay. Go forth. Oh, that radius is really small. And that is so many archers. Holy shit. Okay, their economy is going to be better than mine, which is an issue. Need to get my stuff order producing as much as I can. All my infantry are going to be slaughtered again, but they've served their purpose, they killed the enemy heavy cav. Uh, there's too many generals to easily focus fire, so I'm just not going to bother. Once we've killed off these last guys in front of us, I'm just going to back off and let the siege do its work. So that we stop getting bombarded by the city. Like, look at how many finances I have to have. Holy moly. Need more heavy infantry. But I'm out of food. Well, never mind. We're just gonna have to deal. This is not a fight that is going well. My guys are spending too much time not firing. This is the whole reason I do not like fire lances. Well, we've made the city evac, but I don't know if we can actually take it. This is a giant mess.
We're slowly winning the fight, but as soon as they reinforce with real reinforcements, we're gonna lose. Mm, actually, just auto queue it. Oh, what am I doing? They haven't reinforced yet. That's good. I don't have a scout, do I? Oh, I do. Where's the spy? Oh, it's the. Okay, well, take the city. <laughs> do it quick before they notice that we're doing it. Are they shooting my siege? They are shooting my siege. Oh, shit. I don't know if I have enough firepower to take that. I need it back. Uh, so I can use attrition. No, I don't. Oh, I did. Perfect. Could I get somebody to shoot that guy? Thank you. Hey, we might not lose. Our economy is crippled, but we might not lose. Just kidding, we lost the city. What the fuck? They sent more archers. They finally sent reinforcements. This is very bad on many levels. And I never finished my fort, so I never got that extra armor. Well, we might have lost. And I am thinking, I don't want to keep playing this. It is going to be almost impossible to conquer the whole world. Let me think for a moment. I could instead go stream war game, except that it's just as bad. I could stream some normal games, some like regular skirmishes. Because this right here is kind of bullshit. I do not want to spend a few hours fighting almost impossible fights, because that's the only way you can conquer the world. How do we, can, is this fight possible to win? We do outnumber them, slightly. Oh, okay, let's, let's keep going for this one. Actually, no, they're on us. Uh, alright, so fall back, heal up, and then we'll go again. We need someone to slow down the light curve. And I'm sorry, but you picked the unlucky number. Alright, I'm gonna consume some resources and we're gonna build that fort. Mr. Camel, not Mr. Camel. It's a lot of healthy archers with more cav support than I would like. My artillery is down to just not artillery. We need more people on that fort. But we really can't afford to have more people on the fort. Oh, they got the city back for real. We've lost the siege factory, but we're slowly winning the fight. The problem is that every time we, we push forward, it becomes easier for them to win the fight back. So it's like a losing uphill battle. 
And it's not great. <laughs> if this was gunpowder, not gunpowder, if this was H5, it would be a pity silver or decoys, that's fine. But it's not. So. We're still that pain in the ass stage. Where I have to auto produce stuff. Except my economy can't support it. So it's just kind of painful. And like I have to send these pikemen in because otherwise I die to cav, but the pikemen just go in and die. Because they have a you know composition of mostly archers. It's not great. It's really not. Get that fort up and running, that'll help a little bit. Because we can get the tactics. Hey. You gone. I need. Let's get someone here to build it. I need a new siege factory. While we're waiting for it, let's just chill and heal up. There's new force. Wait, this is the old force with reinforcements? I think it is. I don't think it's a completely new force. I think it's mostly the old force, just recycled. Well, we have a fort on our side, which helps a little bit. Oh, no one's looking, I'll try and take out the supply wagons. Spot. Oh, there's another survivor wagon back there. That'll stop them from pushing back into us for a little while, hopefully. I would heal up, but there's no time. The longer we draw this out, the more our economy is just gonna suffer and die and bad things. So we need to keep pushing it to its limit. And I think we might need to... That's a stack of citizens. Oh. Oh, okay. I was gonna say we might need to attack the city, but I don't think we do. I think we can just siege it. I think that's good enough. Our army size is pretty good. Alright, no mind. We're gonna get into this crappy fight next to the city. Potentially I could have hit the temple first, maybe it would be better, I'm not 100% sure. Oh my god. So much shit. I think we can win the fight though. We have more shit than they do. <laughs> we have a lot more. They have horse archers, but horse archers are not good. As long as we keep building, we should be okay. Can't afford that, can't afford that. Uh, yeah, we can afford that for now. That would be good too. Hey, we're doing it with fucking fire lances. <sighs> this game sucks, dude.
whenever they send in cab, it's just cross your fingers and hope that we can get melee units in there. <laughs> Still producing? Nope. Go back. You're out of wealth. Okay. Not anymore, you're not. If we get the city, that would help a great deal. Because if I can defend a city rather than have to take a city, which it looks like I can, And I don't have to worry so much about economy. But if this is a hotly contested city, I think I might have to build another city elsewhere anyway. Like one here would be okay, one here... Oh yeah, they're about there. And in preparation for that, we get some more of that. And we're gonna start taking out. I think... Where's my center? Oh. No. I think our army is big enough to start focusing on economy as well as, you know, everything else. Move the city back. Perfecto. Economy time. What an absolute mess. Get a couple more siege. We're gonna start counterattacking. I don't know what's over here, but we're taking it. Maybe group up slightly more like that. Our army's pretty healthy, because most of our guys died <laughs> and got reborn. So that's kinda handy, I suppose, in its own messed up way. Army's looking pretty good, surprisingly. Off cap. That's a good thing in this scenario, though. The city up here, which I would like to take away uh, oh man this is a slow burst need vision of the city itself there you go Check out the generals, that would help a lot. Bit more money would be nice. I think we're still winning this fight, just barely. By just barely, I mean actually pretty well. Enough that I can build some more production buildings and not worry too much about the fact it's going to stop us from producing other important things like units so that we don't lose the game. Yeah, this is going to stop my production completely. I think that's fine. As long as I keep an eye on it. Okay, you guys capture the city. The rest of you just keep doing whatever the hell you're doing. Wait, 
What the fuck? Oh my god, they repaired it. They repaired it while I was still... I mean, they're Korean, sure, but... I don't understand how that happened. Whatever, we're still winning. <laughs> In this slugfest of the ages. I want science. I want to take off. What an absolute mess. But we're winning. Slowly. <laughs> Very slowly. In my trivia shows to finish off the citizens. Oh, we've got a few people that are standing around not doing anything because they didn't fit in the control group, but I think that's fine now because we lost a bunch of people. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna have to kill the citizens after all. Gonna you know, try and be nice, but apparently I'm not allowed to do that today. I need knowledge. Although I wouldn't mind another library. Are the citizens dead? Yes. Okay, let's move on. Ah. Oh, okay, the fact that I could win this fight is really sad, but it also means I might actually have just enough. I don't know. Persistence? Audacity? I don't know what word to use. To finish the campaign. For real. And I am going to stop producing units here and here. Still here though. Soon I want to move my front line up, but our army's so big that we can kind of do whatever we want now. Not literally, but. Spies? Mm, nah, we don't need spies. I think another scout would be nice though. Let's finish off our tech tree. House is nearly dead. Let's get some vision. Effects. Find out what's there, if anything. Oh boy. Oh boy, they have two armies, holy shit. Okay, well, all the stuff on the left is about to die. I need to fall back. I need to regroup. This is absurd. Oh no, they have they've diversified the army. Shit. You know what? I'm gonna raise both of these. So my stuff is cheaper to build here. Done, yes.
Well, <sighs> this is not very strategic anymore. Not not gonna sugarcoat that one. Game is pretty awful, actually. Oh, I guess it's sort of still a macro play. Like, I have to build the right units, I have to make sure I'm constantly building them. If I stop managing my economy, I don't get the units anymore, I guess. Where's my s Yeah, he died. Oh. Huh. Okay, well... Stop reproducing here. Stop reproducing here. And we don't need crossbows because we have fire lances plus they're not building heavy infantry. Lucky for us, there's no production here. Oh, there's my scout, okay. Uh, guard the... Senator. The Senator. Guard this, there we go. I need some of my units to die. Why aren't you rally pointed? Go die. Getting close to pop cap. No temple. No temple. Temple. We do not need any more knowledge. So I'm sorry boys. But you know the drill. <laughs> March to the capital and don't let anything stand in your way. We are not losing, but not clearly winning. I'm gonna need this set to go back to order producing. We really don't need that. happening over here. They're just mining in my territory. <laughs> and none of my trebuchets can get into range. Because they're bidding body blocks for my own units. Okay, let's fix that by setting my own units slightly too close. I really need that city to fall. to stop producing heavy infantry or running out of metal. Efficiency is pretty bad for both resources. Now it's a bit better. Could use some more wealth. Wouldn't mind having... No, that doesn't matter. So, this is basically a really good preview of the Alexander the Great campaign. If you are so inclined to play it on toughest, it looks kind of like this. Where... It's just... you have to infinitely produce units. 
Because that's what the other guy is doing. <laughs> and you have to do it in fights that favor the enemy. Because... reasons. Much to the capital. City is nearly taken. I'm gonna attack through right into the middle of everything. Let's go. <sighs> Build another set of barracks and another set of stables. And another siege factory. Because fuck this game. I just want it to end. And this is this is gonna be the entire playthrough, it's just gonna be like this. It's not strategic. Well, okay, technically it's strategic. It's not tactical though. And the strategy that exists is very mediocre. It's exceedingly mediocre. There's not really enough time to talk about anything because if I don't just auto produce units, I, I lose. <laughs> and it's very sad. <laughs> Some people would say it is Vivi sad. I split my trebuchets up to fire both things at the same time and just attack them with the ground because I want this to be over and I'm too lazy to do it properly. Who's the senator? Oh, senator, senator. I don't see him. Oh, right in the middle. That's a knight. There we go. I want them to be producing different things. I don't want to have two fire lances come out and two heavy infantry come out. I want them to be split up. Alright, well, there's unit producing structures back there somewhere because they're Splitting in units. I'm just gonna let my trebuchets fire at whatever they want for a little while. Oh, they're producing units over there as well. That is annoying. Glad my generals are there now. So this this is a really crap example of the game Rise of Nations because this is not how it's supposed to play out. This is just what happens when the only way to make the AI more difficult is to give him an advantage and say produce units all the time and don't stop. Once a few more structures are down I'll tell him to start firing at things I actually care about. Wow, infantry are all almost dead. That's interesting. Yeah. I'm going to kill the turret, then take the city, then kill the... or then the unit producing buildings. These guys can start order using over here so that we can defend our flank. Just 
it's gonna suck. No, my second calf survived. <laughs> Fancy that. My trebuchets are dying because they're getting flanked. That is most unfortunate. Because my units are in the way. Take the city. I really wish I could nuke this. Oh, okay, so if I can get to the gunpowder age, this spam becomes way less problematic. Sorry, not gunpowder, uh, enlightenment. Because once everyone has guns, I can build heavy infantry with guns. And if I get to industrial, it becomes even better because then I can get tanks and a range advantage. And hopefully some of this bullshit goes away. I'm still running out of metal. Really building too many heavy infantry. You can go back to producing some of that. The units are very injured, but if we can win the game on this push, then it, I don't really care. I'll get these guys to start pushing to absorb their flank. There we go, that's the city, perfect. My tribute is to sort of sit right about there. But more spread out. Like, yeah, that's good. Oh, that's the last two cities. Oh, okay. Take a supply wagon then, or two. And push over here. Take out the fort first, then move on to the stables and then the barracks, and then the game will be over. <laughs> you pushing? Structure over here. Oh, there's a city over here. What the hell? Okay, well. <sighs> sure, why not build another city just here? This is so tedious. Yeah, how many people died for this victory? Not as many as I thought. I don't think this is an accurate number. Because I did not control 400 units at the end of the game. I don't really understand. But in any case, welcome to Alexander the Great Campaign on Toughest. Entire world edition. I'm surprised the Japanese didn't attack me. I'm, I'm kind of being a dick invading everyone. Uh, let's go to Eureka. This will be an almost impossible fight. <laughs> but the fight I just took was also close to that. This one will be over C and they'll have two defending armies. But 
the longer I wait, <laughs> the harder it gets, because territory strength increases over time. You n yeah, it just passively increases, I think, every age. Plus, if you're really keen, you can press this button to upgrade it for a tribute. Um, you know what? Let's go for it. Oh, I have no money. Wow, I fucked up. I wasted an entire turn. Well, shit. <laughs> By buying the Civic, not Civic, the Eureka card, um, we have to do nothing for a turn, and they're probably going to attack us. Yep. Oh my god, they're allied with <laughs> whoever the fuck this is. It's not going to show me. The Persians? Yeah, the Persians. They're allied with the Persians, so I have to fight a 2v1. I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, I fucked up so bad. And I didn't save either. So I can't go back and fix it without playing through the entire Korean scenario again. Which is kind of AIDS. I'd really rather not. <laughs> um, Is it even possible to win a 1v2 at this difficulty level? They both have armies. If they didn't, I would say it might be. The Japanese are going to have to fight over the sea, so potentially I can just pump out navy to fend off the Japanese, but I, I can't deal with the Persians. Either way, I've been streaming for like a couple hours now, because that took a long, 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 long time. And then I fucked up the tribute, because my brain just disappeared after having to play through that. We will get to that next time, and you can watch me lose, because it's, like, impossible to, to win this. But I said that about the... I think I said that once about the Alexander the Great campaign. Like, Mission 3 or something is almost impossible. It is, like, it is incredibly difficult. It is... Just absurdly difficult. I looked up a walkthrough of how to do it. Not a walkthrough, like a, a guide on like how someone else did it, and they literally said just resign the moment you try it. This feels like that, except I have to figure out a way to win. So, yes, we'll get to the next time. I'll probably have to lose a few times before I figure it out, but thanks for dropping by the one person, two people who dropped by. I'll catch you next time.